Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about Couchbase failover. Failover is a process which will take out a node from a cluster with speed. Basically, failover is two types, graceful failover and hard failover. These are the tasks that will happen during the failover. The node is marked for removal in the first step. In the second step, all the replicas of the failover node are promoted to active. And in the third step, cluster map is pushed to all the connected clients. Just for understanding purpose only, I have mentioned these numbers. These things will happen in the back end in Couchbase. Failover types, graceful failover, hard failover. Graceful failover is used to remove a data service node proactively from the cluster. It is manually initiated when the entire cluster is in healthy state. We can choose graceful failover. However, it is not recommended for production environment. Although it will commit the in-flight transactions, which means ongoing transactions, Depending on the use case and non-critical data, we can go with this graceful failover option to take out the node for any maintenance activities. Hard failover. This is used to drop a node from the cluster reactively because the node has issues. So hard failover can be initiated manually as well as automatically. So the main drawback of hard failover is in-flight transactions will be affected, which means the ongoing transactions will be lost because it will immediately remove the node from the cluster. The in-flight transactions which are not yet committed are not transferred to the other nodes in the cluster. This slide is about how to failover from web UI. You can go to server tab and click on that particular server which you are going to failover and click on failover. You will be prompted with two options, graceful failover, which is the default one and hard failover. Here comes one more scenario. What happens when the node goes down and I fail over? In this situation, it is always a hard failover. Until we replace this node and complete rebalance, we always have one replica less. So this is an important point which can be asked in interviews as well. So when a node is failed over, no manual intervention is immediately required. But however, a rebalance is recommended as early as possible because if you ignore this node failover until you do this rebalance assume one more node got failover then there is a data loss in case if you have only one replica set for the buckets so once we replace this node and do rebalance then the replicas will be adjusted as per the replica setting in the bucket failing over multiple nodes when you are failing over multiple nodes you have to make sure you have more number of replicas than the number of nodes you are trying to fail over to hard fail over multiple nodes, each couchbase bucket must have at least as many replicas as total number of nodes failed over, else you will lose data. This is one more important point. These are the commands to gracefully fail over and rebalance a node with CLI. Hard fail over with REST API. These are the commands to fail over and rebalance using REST API. In the next video, we will see how to fail over a node from web UI using CLI and using REST API. See you in the next video. Thank you.